the best things about the Cambodian trip was finally getting to meet Chris Perry and Emma Broadbent. These guys both love riding hard enduro, so it was great not only watching them playing around on the bikes, but also examining their riding technique throughout the trip. Chris and Emma have been riding the international extreme enduro events, such as Romaniacs and Sea to Sky. And Emma took out first place in the women's class in Australia's hard enduro, Wildwood Rock. Owen Locke has called them Australia's first couple of hard enduro, <laughs> although Chris and Emma think that title actually belongs to Owen and his wife, Amber. Like a lot of girls, Emma is deceptively fast when she cranks the throttle. Even though she was on a stock TTR 250 for this trip, I didn't get to film her riding fast simply because I couldn't catch up, even on a WR450F. At the training day, Emma got to do a lap on the Beta Cross Trainer. For the tyre pit, you can see Emma has her body weight back to keep the front wheel light and keeps the power on. A deceptively slippery corner. Emma really liked the cross trainer. She doesn't rev a bike hard unless she needs to, so the meaty, low and mid-range power suited her down to the ground. Now Chris takes the cross trainer for a spin. He normally rides a 300 EXC, so I was keen to get his impressions. The main thing was Chris was surprised at the power. They have only knocked the top end power down on the cross trainer. So on a tight track like this, Chris found the cross trainer was flying around. He was also surprised at the suspension, saying it was too soft for jumps or really aggressive riding, but it was capable for everything else. I find this intriguing because so many Gumbies and dirt riding Muppets around my level get so hung up on the need for expensive suspension tuning. But the top riders tend to downplay suspension, if anything. On to the more open track, and Chris really starts to let things rip. This is where he could use that extra top end power of, say, the double R300. But I honestly think for most of us, the cross trainer puts out all you need. On the rare occasion I crank the throttle, the cross trainer is so much more controllable at high revs and I don't wind up shitting in my pants the way I did with the double R 300. Anyway, that's all for now folks and keep an eye out for Emma and Chris in the International Extreme Enduros.